we didn't get where we was at by keeping the doors locked. Now then and forever collectibles and gift shop revved up in Radford a few years ago thanks to these two guys right here. 68 year old Ralph Stewart and his 40 year old son Jonathan. Since John was a boy, the duo started collecting Hot Wheels together. Five years ago, they realized they collected so many Hot Wheel cars over the years, they decided to sell off their collection. That venture turned into this. That you can actually see probably about 25,000. What you can't see is probably another 70 to 80,000. All a result of buying, trading, and selling collectibles for people all around the world. From sporty to rare luxury cars, this shop has it all, giving customers a trip down memory lane. 50 years old and comes and says, my first car was this. Do you have it? We don't look at it as being a business. Everybody's family. And the passion runs deep in the family, all the way down to little Sylvie, who you'll see running around the store when you visit. It just gives us that connection of something that we can like together. But, you know, we had a chance to bond and do that, and it's it's continued. A bond held tightly together by this man, close family friend, Donald Cook or Donnie. The 76-year-old used to have his own car lot, collecting and trading actual vehicles when he met the Stewart family decades ago. My passion for working for other people and the cars itself stems from my uncle Donnie. As you lap around the aisles today, you will notice a thriving yet comforting business. And that's thanks to Donnie. I mean, I probably wouldn't have this if it wouldn't have been for Donnie. Almost every day, Donnie could be found in the store with his Hot Wheel family helping out. But Donnie was one of those guys that, he was special to all of us. To tell you how tight it was, that's his. That was his license plate when he... On, that was on Donnie's car. Filled with life, love, wisdom, and passion, Donnie was the backbone of the business. He was well known and loved by customers and the car collecting community. The jokes, cutting up, always laughing, never a bad thing to say about anybody. He's, he went with me just about every trip I went on and uh, Still miss those days. Today, the store may be packed wall to wall with cars, but sadly, there is an emptiness present. Unbeknownst to all of us, he had cancer. On April the 17th, he went to the doctor. They told me he had cancer. 20 days later, he was gone. One other thing that he'd always say too, and it's, it's actually on his grave marker, I told you I was sick. And he would laugh. It was tough. Still is. But in honor of Donnie. Now then forever, I may help you. The duo's engine is going strong to carry out his legacy that will continue to race through the store and through the family. Now I've got a 14 year old son that's now doing with him what I did at 14. So the next time you get around to Now Then and Forever Collectibles, know this. Live each day as it's your last and enjoy it. Just like Donnie. Here's a fun fact for you. In honor of Donnie, Now Then and Forever Collectibles gives out these wooden round to it coins. They say that it's something that Donnie would hand out to customers who would say the phrase, oh, I'll do it as soon as I get around to it, whether it's referring to a chore or a certain task. Donnie would hand them this round to it coin and say, now go do it. Let's let that be a lesson for all of us to accomplish anything on our to-do list in life. For the Deep Blue Ridge, I'm Jaffe Gray, 10 News, working for you.